Hey everyone, today I'm working on week number 36 of Rebecca's Bible Art Journal Journaling Challenge. And I'm just going to show you here, um, this is how I document uh, the different weeks and what I've completed and what I haven't. And I'm going to use the clear gesso. And I put one layer of the gesso onto the page and I also pulled out these new stamps that I recently received. Um, I really like them. There's four different sets, so I'm going to show you all four sets here. And I purchased them on Etsy, and I'm very happy with them. I like that they come in that CD case, and this is the lady that I purchased them from. And it was really cool. In each of those cases, she sent three of these tabs, so those will be fun to use. And this was the card that she sent to me. So, um, I also pulled out the Gansai Tambi watercolors, and um, I'm sure you have all seen Rebecca use these, and so I purchased them, and am loving them, and I also have my black stays on. So, the Bible verse reads, so it's Jeremiah 31, 3, and it reads, The Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness, my faithfulness to you. So, that's the verse, and um, I just decided to, I wanted bright colors. I wanted colors that... Um, that looked good together and were on the bright side. So as I'm pulling the colors from uh, this watercolor set, it's not, I'm not trying to get the rainbow. Um, I'm just looking for colors that um, are, are bright on the page. So that was what I decided to do. And I'm gonna show you here that the colors are not coming through. The paint is definitely staying on top of that gesso. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I started um, with that red up in the corner, I was using a paintbrush. But then I switched over to a water brush. And even though it is a water brush and water does come out the end, you will see me um, put that water brush into the water. Um, I do that. I do that almost every time I use a water brush. It's just easy for me. Um, so that's what I do. And um, this particular watercolor is it's very, uh, it's very good. Very, very good. Um, it is a little bit on the expensive side, but I can tell the difference. So like what I could tell was when I would put the water brush into the water to clean it to go to the next color, um, like with more inexpensive watercolors, just one, you know, one dab in the water would clean that, that, that paint off so I could go to the next color. But with these, the paint was like so thick that I really had to clean it quite well in that water um, so that I could get to the next color. And here I'm just mixing up the colors. I want to uh, combine them. I want them to not be so neat looking. And I'm actually pulling some of that red from that lower corner. And when I lift this page up, you're gonna see that a little bit of that red is now mixed in with the other colors and I just love it. So here I'm gonna lift it up and you'll just see really all of the colors are all mixed now. And I like that look a lot. So I'm gonna hit it with the heat tool and I'm pulling this heart from this fun stamper's journey stamp set. And um, these little stamps are from those CD cases that I showed you before. And the top stamp says stand firm in. And then that bottom one, like right above the heart, says love. So it's going to say stand firm in God's love. And then that heart is going to be at the bottom. So I'm using my black stays on. Now I'm not really planning to put any more color on top of this page, but I like to go ahead and use it, um, the stays on, just in case I do get the ink wet. I don't want it to run. 
And now when I put color onto the heart, you're gonna notice I do it um, in a little bit different than I did the other two stamps. So here I'm actually putting the ink onto the stamp as opposed to putting the stamp onto the ink. And the only reason I did that was because the stamp is a little bit bigger. And it's easier for me to see to make sure I'm getting the right amount of ink onto the stamp. And I'm going to lift it up and you're going to see that that stamp, that heart stamp, is not all filled in and it's not meant to be. And that's why I like the stamp so much is because it's not perfect. So I picked up my Posca paint pens and I'm going to go ahead and write the word gods um, under the stand firm in then I'm going to write gods love and I picked up two different shades of blue and when I go ahead and do this kind of thing with letters I don't have a particular style or a way of doing it I just I just do it <laughs> I just do it and I always like the way it comes out it's not always perfect but right here I noticed that the blue on the blue was not going to show so I picked up the deeper blue which happens to be metallic as well and then in the G O N D I just kind of went in the middle of the lighter color blue and like I said it's metallic so it's picking up the um, a little bit of shine there and then on the word love I put some dots to help make that pop just a little bit and so far I am liking the way it looks so it's not super fancy it's easy peasy just enjoying working in my Bible I'm um, getting into scripture so here is some beige Posca paint pen and my intent here was to make that heart pop off the page uh, not real happy with that and you'll see what I do in a, in a minute to to fix that but here with a red Posca paint pen, I just put in four little red hearts. Just thought that they looked cute. And obviously representing his love. So again, easy peasy, nothing super fancy. And I try to hit everything with the heat tool just so I don't smear it. So here I have an orange Posca paint pen and now that heart pops. And I left it so you could still see the beige around it, so I like it a lot. And this is um, a piece of Punchinella, so it's the leftovers of um, sequins. And uh, I'm going to use the red stays on, as well as a makeup sponge. And believe it or not, through all of this, I can still read the text. Amazing, right? <laughs> but I can very easily. So randomly I'm just going around and putting some of these circles just to bring um, you know, more visual interest and texture onto the page, which is my typical style doing mixed media. And now I'm taking this stylus and I'm gonna use the end of that with this um, Memento Rosebud Pink um, ink. And I just want to get some more onto the page. If you know my style, I like layers and I like normally to have a lot on a page. Not that it has to be anything difficult, just I like a lot um, on it. And I was just showing you there how I use the end of the stylus. So I'm really liking this, but it's not quite done enough for me. And I take this piece right here, which is a piece of a workout mat, and the texture using ink with it is just phenomenal. So look around your house, see what you have that has texture, and it's great to use with ink. So this to me now looks done. The black, it just needed some extra black on there. And I like the way it looks. I like all of the different um, shapes on the page. And I'm showing you here that it did not come through to the other side. And I thank you all so much for watching. And let me know if you have any questions. 
And I'm just showing you the different products that I used again. And thank you, Rebecca. And everybody check out the Bible Art Journaling Challenge on Facebook. Thanks, everybody. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.